External ballistics is one of the things that makes long range shooting truly unique and very difficult to master. The external ballistics is everything that happens for your projectile from the moment that it leaves the end of your muzzle to the instant before it touches whatever target you're gonna shoot. So during external ballistics, everything that happens to this little projectile has something to do with how accurate you can be on target. And it's how you can pick those things apart and judge for them will allow you to be more or less accurate depending on how you read those traits. One of the things specifically is gravity. Now gravity is a constant, it's always pulling in the same direction, so that one is the easiest one to compensate for. The temperature of the day, whether it be hot or cold, will have effect on the air molecules. The hotter it is, the further the molecules are apart. The faster your projectile will fly, even if it's the same exact load as you shoot on a cold day. Humidity is something else that you have to pay attention to. So the more humid the air is, the, essentially the wetter it is, the harder it is for the bullet to fly, but it can help you too because the more humid it is, typically the bigger that wake is of the bullet you can see as a vapor trail. Barometric pressure works kind of the same way as humidity, but in the fact that it's the pressure of the air or how densely it's compacted together. It's like before and after storms and things like that. Another is the altitude you're shooting at. So the, typically speaking, the higher in altitude you go, the thinner the air is. All those things come together and gives you a picture of what type of air your projectile is flying to. There used to be a way that we kept a track of that with pen and paper, and you would add or subtract depending on the number of highs and lows from your last engagement. So one of the things that we've done in modern days is we got technology to do that stuff for us. We have all these ballistic calculators. It uses a ballistic software and then runs the software through the weather station and it gives you a very, very accurate algorithm of what your projectile is gonna be doing on those given days. Lastly, you've got wind. Uh, wind is probably the most complicated thing to judge, to look at, and to decide what you need to do with your projectile. There's a lot of different ways you can do that. You can do it by sight, seeing the grass or the leaves sway. You can also do it with the mirage. You look at the mirage and see which way the mirage is laying. And you can also feel it on your cheek. Just be aware that most people will call wind faster than what it's actually doing. So all of those combined give you a very good picture of what's actually happening to your projectile during external ballistics. And the more you practice, the more you shoot, and the better you get at mastering calling those, it's gonna make you a much, much better long range shooter.